Thank you so much to everybody for coming. Everybody's been amazingly supportive and really generous. And so far, with Money Online, I've raised £1,183. That's, that's a rough guess. It's probably going to be more than that. I'm not going to do loads of thank yous because I'm going to miss people out if I do. But first, I need to say thank you to the Reverend today for giving us the car park. Thank you for all my shakers and thanks of course to Cora, who is my hairdresser, who lives in Graham Crescent next door to me, who's an amazing woman. So anybody that needs a hairdresser, Cora's your lady. She does do more than one style. I'm doing this today in support of my friend Angie, who I met when I was 11 years old. How old are you, Dan? Who, what are you doing? This is Dan, who's 10, Hello, Dan. and I was a year older than Dan when I met Angie, and there was me, Angie, and my friend there, Pauline, who all went to school together, and we've been friends for 28 years. Angie got diagnosed with breast cancer in September last year. I'm going to get all silly now. <laughs> Come on. Happy Happy yeah. Oh, that's a problem. Say, say, Angie and Dan, so I get all silly. So when she told me she was going to have chemo, it just seemed like the right thing to do, to show support and raise money. I couldn't, she lives in Blackpool, so I couldn't go and make her a cup of tea. I couldn't give her a hug, so I just wanted to do something useful. And this just seemed like an obvious thing to do. A lot of people have said, I can never do that, I can never shave off my hair. But it's so not a big deal. It's just hair. It doesn't mean anything. It, it, it's, it's not about hair, it's not about what you look like, it's about what's inside and friendships is what's important. And a lot of people have said, oh, you're really brave, you're really brave. And I know they mean well, but it's not brave. It's not brave at all. What's brave? What's brave? Oh, I've gone all silly. What's brave is getting up every day, knowing that you've got cancer, and looking your children in the eye and getting on with it determination to say I'm going to do this, I'm going to fight cancer and an absolute belief that you're going to win and that's brave and that's my friend Angie because that's what she's got so to shave my head it was symbolic of course it's about raising money and I'm really appreciative to everybody people who have given £100 people have and people who have given £1 Every penny is equally as valued. So it's symbolic. It's about what's important and what's not important. And so as Cora cuts my hair, I thought it might be really nice if everybody takes a moment just to think about somebody, because I know that everybody's been kind enough to share their stories with me about everybody knows somebody who's been touched by cancer. So it'd be nice to take a moment and think about those people who are fighting cancer and maybe those, maybe those that didn't win. And I just want to thank you all for coming. Thank you. And of course, I'm going to look beautiful at the end. Oh yeah? Because I'm very lucky that all my beauty is inner beauty. So it's not going to make that much difference. Boys, you watching? Elias? We're watching. I'm cutting mommy's hair. You're not really doing it. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an in-Facebook joke. <laughs> Are you keeping the hair? No. Can I just say there's a charity called Locks for Love where if your hair's long and you decide to chop it all off, 
as long as you braid it, you can donate your hair to Locks of Love, which is an American charity that makes hair pieces for children with unexplained hair loss like alopecia. I can't because my hair's bleached and coloured and in a terrible state. Do you think we should have picked it up? <laughs> Put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll sweep yeah, it. Yeah, birds will. Birds uh, nest. Yeah. 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 I'm trusting you to do just whatever you think of. In the Kiloki, <laughs> human league. Pardon? In the Kiloki, human league. <laughs> With the long bit on the one side. Yeah. Well, You're looking my, my very similar at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you could just go to an 80s revival right now. <laughs> Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much grey, you know. Good well. Mm. Few flakes, distinguished. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just say a big thank you, you can carry on, a big thank you to Dave here who is the man that produced all those fabulous posters that you've been bombarded with in Rubri. that was this man here Dave. Thank you. <laughs> who I'd never, who, who the important point is I had never ever met before, he just did that for me which was very very kind. Thank you, Dave. But now we're Facebook buddies. We are. <laughs> the other man in my life now. <laughs> you are going to say hi to Auntie Angie. Say, look, look at that camera. Look at that camera. Say hi, Auntie Angie. Hi, Auntie Angie. Say, love you. <laughs> love you. Say, we're very proud of you, Auntie Angie. Very proud of you, Auntie Angie. You're a star. I'm a star. And we're going to go on a big holiday when you're better, say. I'm only joking, you're not coming. Say actually it's really really becoming popular, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was 20 years younger than me. <laughs> Look, Ange. Pauline. All here for you. So when you're better, all three on a girl's holiday, yeah? <laughs> Birthday to Edward. Edward is 21 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Edward. Happy 20th. That's Angie's little boy. Uh -huh. Well done, Cora. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Really appreciate it. Okay, Ange. 
Got it? Yeah. Well done, Kate. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, I'll cover you in hair. <laughs> thank you. That's lovely. Well, thank you. Thank you all for coming. Where's the tin? I'm to call got the tin. It's going to catch on. That's how you need to see, Anne, see what you've inspired. They all want it now. Thank you. My, my, my shakers are going to go back out and harass everybody now so we can get right up to that thousand pound and plus. Thank you. Don't know what else to say. Thank you. Does Oliver have to go now? Does Oliver have to go now? Look, Andy, it's Ben. Fabulous. She don't want it. <laughs> Can I just tell Angie? Sally's had a hairdressing disaster. She's gone orange and blonde. It's up to you now. Have you got two minutes for her? <laughs> Hope all goes well, Angie. Thinking about you. Want to say something to Angie? All right, Anne, I'm thinking about you. <laughs> she gets silly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, do into